Our journey began 169 years ago with Ranamir. But today, we return in 1063 AD with the now King of Bosnia, with the goal of creating our very own faith. Moving north to unite the West Slavs against the many great Catholic powers there, with the final goal of uniting all of the Slavs under our banner, much to the anger of the Pope. So welcome back to the Slavia campaign. Now, today's biggest goal is uniting the West Slavs, creating our own religion to dominate the region, and most importantly, try and manage all of the revolts we're definitely going to have. Like, seriously, we're going to have a lot, I imagine. So I was going to finish it today, but let's be honest, there's a lot of land we need to get through the big final decision. So this video will just be quite boring if I just did that for one whole video. So I'm going to split it into two. This one's going to go out on the Monday and then the day after on the Tuesday, we'll wrap it all up and finally take the decision to unite the Slavs. So as you can see, we don't have the decision to unite the West Slavs. And that is because if we go to our Slavic culture, our heritage is South Slavic and we need to get the West Slavic. So to do that, we're going to make a hybrid culture with the Slovian culture, because if you look, they have the West Slavic heritage. Now we can't do it just yet because our culture needs to be 50 years old and it was made in 1010 AD. So we have to wait until 1060 AD to do that. So that is going to be something we can do a bit later. But the first goal today is create our own religion. So here is the faith we're going to try and make. We need 7,850 piety, which is a lot. We only have 2,700 and we're 71. But luckily in the learning tree, we're one perk point off of getting profit, which does make faith creation and reformation cost 50% cheaper. So we're going to go on a pilgrimage straight away. Waste no time. We'll go on a very long one. We'll put ourselves in debt. Let's just get there. Get as much piety as we can. And also what we're going to want to do is put our wife on patronage and also flip to a theology focus. Get as much learning, as much piety as we can. Pilgrimage, the end is nigh. Yes, we can gain 250 piety from that. So we're definitely going to want to take that one. And there we go. After that pilgrimage, we gain 625. We gain the trait Pilgrim, which is 10% more monthly piety and poverty's journey, which actually makes Holy Order higher cost cheaper. But yeah, that's not pretty that helpful for me. And then we go, we pick up profit. We have 3,600 piety. And to create the faith, we need 363 more. So hopefully, if we live a little bit longer, we're making 10 piety a month now, we should actually be able to do this. Some of you may be wondering why I didn't pick up the communion tenet, and mainly because it might make it a little bit too easy for us if we're just getting money constantly from people seeking indulgences from us. So I'm just not going to do that. Let's try and keep it a little bit interesting because otherwise, yeah, we'll probably end up with ridiculous amounts of money. And yeah, we don't need that. And there we go. Just like that, we now have enough piety to create Ramacism. Now, me wondering why I called it that. If you look, our capital is the county of Rama and we do have a holy site there. So I thought, why not just name it after that? So there we have it. It's going to cost us 3,925 piety, but we've set us away the head of faith and we put on armed pilgrimages. It makes holy sites cheaper. And if there's a head of faith, we can declare a great holy war. And then we also put on pursuit of power. So rulers have a conquest Casus Belli against neighboring rulers and prestigious rulers can use an invasion Casus Belli once per lifetime. And that basically means you can take an entire kingdom. So we really want that one. And here we go. Create Ramacism. We said we lost the Holy Order, but yeah, we have lost the Holy Order, I believe. So we're going to have to found a new Holy Order at some point. That would definitely be beneficial. So yeah, of course, the next goal now is waiting until 1060 AD, and then we can create the culture needed so we can actually see the decision to unite the West Slavs. But in the meantime, I think the rest of this guy's life, I'm just going to chill out and prepare for inheritance. So it's all going to our son right here. Well, there's one more guy in line. He was born three years ago. This guy's in jail. He is a genius, but depending on how long we live, we may actually disinherit him and go with the younger one. But we are 74, so maybe not. We'll see how he turns out either way. But for now, we will just disinherit him just in case. 
and then just see how it goes. Yeah, the rest of this guy's life, we're going to keep building now, build quarries and all our extra castles that we've built and stuff like that. Just build up our main duchy as much as we can, as we're going to need the power as soon as possible. Especially now the West Slavs fighting like Poland, Bohemia, Sweden, right? We've got some really, really tough wars coming up today. Well, actually, in our capital, we're now able to build a duchy building. So I think full money is going to be most beneficial for us because we may have to bribe a lot of our vassals when we get quite big. So either Royal Reserves or Tax Offices. Now, I might go with Royal Reserves for that 10% extra development growth as we're not on a coast, so we're not getting like trade ports to boost it. I think that would be really helpful. 225 gold. It's going to take two years to build, but I definitely think it's worth it. Okay, so we have a Liberty Faction. Now, I did manage to get two people to leave, which was this guy and this guy down here. They both were a part of it, but I put them both on the council and sent them both gifts and they loved me. I also did now spend 700 gold maxing out my horse archers, armored footmen as well. So we have an army now and we got to use it to fight. So I will not be threatened. So they want to lower the crown authority. I really don't fancy going down to autonomous vassals. <laughs> Maybe if I was on three, I'd go back to two, but yeah, I don't think it's such a good idea. So who is the biggest person in this faction? That is you up here, right? Yeah. We may want to call an ally if we have one. Well, we don't even have an ally. Mm. Okay. All right, we're going to go to his land. And what we're going to do, we're going to raise all our men at arms here. And then over here, we'll click raise all on our levies. There we are. March everyone in there. Dismantle his army. Jump on his capital. Oh, we just got Know Thyself close to the end. There's 8,000 of them over here. We got to try and defeat them as much as we can now before we die. But let's all jump them. Perfect. Up 69%. Another 3,000 down here. We're just going to keep chasing them. Defeat them as much as we can. But there we have it. Sadly, we died at 79 years of age. But luckily, we did manage to create that faith. So I am happy with that. Now, we are not married. We are 42. And yeah, we do have a child who is one-legged. He's a tough soldier. He's not great, but he's not awful. So I'm going to see. Maybe if we can get a nice genius to marry him. There we go. That's amazing. Then for us, I think, honestly, we look for somebody who's infertile, who maybe gives us a nice alliance. Italy. I, I don't mind going with Italy because, you know, he was friendly with Modena once, but their title changed to Italy. In my mind, they're the same people. So, yeah, I like that. We're up 78%. We've got Tick and War score now. We'll siege one more of their counties and it should be over. Yeah, 91. So what we're going to do now is just defeat them one more time. Don't let them siege anything. Then Tick and War score will finish it off for us. There we go. So enforce that. Now, what we do have is quite a few vassals now in our prison. We could ransom them all off for money. Maybe we ask what we do. If they're not of our faith, what I'm going to do is negotiate release and demand their conversions. But if they are of our faith, I'll ransom them off. Now, this is really lucky because this guy, if we look at his contract, he has religious rights protected. So we can actually demand his conversion from here. But right now, he's too reluctant to convert. But leave that like a year or two. I'm sure he'll convert. So we're going to keep him in our prison for now. now you need to be converted. Thank you very much. Then these two up top, we can ransom them off for some nice money. So I think my first target for the West Slavs is going to be Bohemia. Now, of course, we don't need to wait now to see the decision to get a general idea of where we need to go. So I'm definitely going to want to make a start. Now we need to be illustrious. Then we can declare war for a duchy and take like all of his land, right? County claims just take way too long. So we're about quarter-ish of the way there. So we'll do hunts and feasts now. Try and boost it as much as we can. The quicker we get there the better, right? Oh, yeah. The Holy Order we have, actually, is that not even of our faith anymore. So we're going to revoke their lease. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, no chance you're keeping that. You're just keeping a city. We'll grant it to someone now. We'll just give it to somebody of the Slavic culture. It's only a city holding. But yeah, we're going to revoke them. Yeah, we want to start looking at our army now. We can get another stack of something. I really like horse archers, to be honest with you. I think I'm just going to build another stack of those before I do anything else. Yeah, Europe is looking like a mess. Just look at that. Well, look at everything. Look at our borders. Our borders are absolutely horrible. These guys down here, 52,000 men and an absolutely ginormous kingdom. Fair play to them. Now, for our culture, we're going to wait till 1050 AD till we can go to the high medieval era and pick up men at arms so we can get a way bigger army. So we've got a little bit longer over here. Now, armored horsemen could be nice to pick up, but I might just stick with horse archers, to be honest with you. You know what? I say coinage. Development growth plus 10%. I want to boost the development here a lot. Something interesting I found out not too long ago as it was put on the Reddit. You know the development screen? I thought 100 was like gold gold and then zero was like this purplish color. But it's actually 
actually dynamic. So if everyone in the whole world had a development of one and then someone had like 20, they would be like deep gold. I thought it was just like a set scale, but it's actually dynamic. So like the highest development place will have the deepest gold. It'll be really gold no matter what. Something I found out, I thought that was quite interesting. Yeah, I, I want Rama to shine when we look at that map, you know? I want it to just look amazing. Oh, Bohemia are so weak right now. Let's do a grand feast. 200 gold, it's a lot of money, but I need to boost this as fast as I can. What I might do actually while I wait to get illustrious what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do some small county claim wars just to like kill the time we've got to get these counties anyway eventually and we may get a little bit of prestige for actually beating them so i'm gonna do this for now as soon as we get illustrious bohemia is going to be ours or at least i hope so the prince of hungary wants to become friends with us you know what he is right why not become friends with him let's become friends i think we don't need hungary anytime soon anyway so there we are we just become friends nice because yeah i'm not interested in taking hungary's land anytime soon i mean our borders are gonna look horrible but they're of our old faith they're not a threat really so i'm happy enough to leave hungary just kicking about for now there we go and we have won this nice simple county war and we're gonna carry on doing them right they're nice and easy raise our metal oh, they're gonna beat us because they yeah i hate it when that happens so yeah we're just gonna jump right in there hopefully after this war we might actually be illustrious we're so close now well what is this holy order really oh my god okay we're gonna have to to raise all for an for a one county <laughs> they just pulled out a whole holy order for that but there we go we still won in the end and just like that we are now illustrious so let's not waste any time in making a start conquer duchy let's go now they may bring a holy order i'm hoping they don't but if that county could manage to bring a holy order i'm very sure bohemia could yeah Oh, the Holy Order they brought is only 1,600 men. Is that because we just fought them and destroyed them? Maybe, I don't know. But I'm confident enough that our men-at-arms on their own can defeat them. There we go. We got into a fight here. We're going to wipe them out completely. And then I'm going to go straight for their capital. It's a slow siege. Yeah, I think they've been having a tyranny war that's gone on for ages. Yeah, they're going on for four years already. And actually, oh, the King of Bavaria is actually starting a war for the claim on Bohemia. So if we win, we're going to be fighting off against Bavaria. That is not what you want to hear at all. This is terrible. All our sieges are slow as well. This is going terribly. Well, I think we're going to have to now go ahead and actually raise our levies. I don't think we really have an option as we've got to fight Bohemia and Bavaria at the same time. So we're going to call in our levies. And once they're here, we are now going to go for his capital, probably fight Bohemia's troops. Uh, Bavaria, I meant, sorry. There we go. We defeated Bavaria's men. And now we've got to see as much as we can. There we go, 100%. So enforce that one. And we should still be at... No. Okay, interesting. I thought we were still going to be at war with them. Because typically, if like two countries are fighting for like one claim and one and you get it, then the war will carry on. But I think they do have the option, like a new opponent. So maybe they didn't want to keep fighting because we did just destroy them, right? And this is perfect timing. We now have the decision to found a holy order. Yes, let's go. Holy order founded. So we have Guardians of the Shroud. And what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to find someone capable and strong. Yeah, this guy looks like an absolute just savage. So we're going to give him that. When we get 250 gold, I'm, I'm going to then usurp the Duchy of Bohemia from him and grant it to this guy. So then he will automatically get all these vassals, I believe. And as you just seen, yeah, Bohemia, the rest of it just got vassalized by East Francia. So there we go. We can usurp the duchy. And then all we need to do now is grant titles to him again and give him the entire duchy. And just like that, we have a Rama Slavic man on the throne of Bohemia. God, our borders are awful. I think our vassals are expanding eastwards. Like, it's nothing to do with me, but we seem to just be growing in this direction. It looks terrible, but you know what? I love it. But yeah, the quicker we actually take the decision to unite the West Slavs, the better us. I believe we get the Empire of West Slavia. I'm sure I may even be able to found my own. Yeah, I could probably create three kingdoms and then get exalted among men and found my own, but I may as well just wait and do it through the decision. Then once we actually are an emperor, we can grant out a lot of kingdom titles, so we don't have to deal with so many vassals like right now we've got 23 vassals which is not terrible but it's only going to get worse and the less vassals we have the better we can just better manage them yeah right now we're lucky as there's not too many factions against us but the more land we pick up the worse that is going to get without a doubt i think we do need some land off this guy so i'm going to conquer duchy as well we may as well keep expanding in the meantime in this general direction now i think all of them are going to bring holy orders yeah how many is he getting then 1600 yeah the, the first holy order we fought was way bigger but you know what guess what we can bring a holy order as well 
now. So, fine. We're gonna go fight them. There we go. I absolutely destroyed their army. Oh, that scared me. It was saying I had no A and I could not work out why. But it seemed my son was Catholic for some reason and it took him out of the line. But yeah, we just reinstated his inheritance and he is back. Thank God for that. That sent me through a major panic then. Oh no, we've picked up Infirm already. Ooh, but he has a genius son. Nice. Yeah, this war is massively going in our way. We're probably gonna die soon though, which sucks. Uh, I was hoping to live a little bit longer. Well, at least hopefully we can see if we can live long enough to do the culture this life. Why do you hate me? Wait, the guy we gave the Duchy of Bohemia just lost his land. We're gonna give him all this land out here, make him more powerful, and hopefully, yeah, he's in a tyranny war, but sadly, the Catholics have retaken over Bohemia. Let's see, we'll try and demand his conversion and all of his vassals if we can. But the fact that we just granted this guy more land outside of Bohemia, hopefully he can build his power up and retake that throne. You know what? I'll, I'll take a wee cook. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a wee cook. It's fine. I'll take it. Let's just get them converted. We're going to die soon anyway. I'm hoping this guy can somehow win. Please get back your throne. What happens if we create a duchy title and grant him it? Will we be able to? Yeah, so he's actually free now as his own duke. He's not stuck underneath that horrible, hideous man. God, he is actually hideous, isn't he? What the hell? He looks like a buckworm or something. But yeah, didn't last very long, did he, with his land? <laughs> He's got overthrown instantly. Oh, sadly, we died at just 55 years of age. He drank himself to death. So now we are a 33-year-old in charge of a ginormous kingdom with three more years until we can create that culture. There we go. Finally, we can now form a hybrid Culture. Now, for ethos, currently, we have communal, but egalitarian actually gives us a plus 10 vassal limit. I kind of like that because we may end up with quite a few vassals. Now, communal makes mercenaries a little bit cheaper, and it does help with some construction cost and time, but I think I'll go with egalitarian. We're going to have to pick up West Slavic heritage, and then we'll go with Serbo-Croatian language. Now, traditions. We can pick seven. So, the only one we're not going to take is astute diplomat. That's not really important to us. We're going to pick up Mountaineer Ruralism. Quarry lines of buildings have additional bonuses, and actually we have quite a lot of quarries, so that's actually probably quite good for us. Everything else is practically the same. So there we go. We are now the greater Slavic people. So form, hybrid, culture. And if we look at decisions, if everything has gone right, there we go. We have the decision to unite the West Slavs. So we need to control the region of West Slavia. So as you can see, we've made some progress. We need to take Poland, Sweden, Pomerania, and some land off these guys. Now, all of them are pretty powerful, mainly because they have a lot of allies. Poland's probably the easiest target right now. But once we do that decision, we do pick up the West Slavia Empire title. So we'll finally be an emperor as well, which will be nice. And then we can give out a lot of these duchies to like kings. We'll just have less people to deal with all the time. Wait, no, this guy, the vassal who did take Bohemia off us, has just claimed our throne. God, he is evil. He has caused us non-stop problems. Luckily, though, this guy is actually caught up with his power. Now, hopefully, he can defend this war from Bohemia. Wait, did he just die? There's no way he just died. Wait, he did? <laughs> Flagellated. I knew he was weird. Yeah, right. I was good to not like that guy. Yeah, Bohemia is fighting them for their land in the middle here. Hopefully, they can defend that. So you may be wondering just then what war I'm actually in. I started a war for this county because it was just a single county. I wasn't going to bother showing it because we got to wait to get illustrious anyway. I'm almost there. And it is part of the West Slavia region. But I started the war. I didn't realize that the war was actually against England. I somehow, you know, missed that. So I'm trying to like save my supplies by and then keeping my men at arms on the war target. I'm just trying to keep an eye out for when they come back. <laughs> They're just trying to defend it constantly. So I can't really be bothered to go over to England and do that. We do have the war target. So we got the ticking war score. So we're just holding out. <laughs> and yeah, it's going pretty well so far. I want to see. Have we defeated them enough from men at arms to defeat them now without my levy? I think they might be able to, you know, yeah. There we go. 100%. We caught the King of England. Nice. Enforce that. All of that for a single county. We're going to keep making this guy more powerful. We're going to make him a king one day. And he is going to definitely take over Bohemia once more. That is his goal. Wait, ha he hasn't had any children. Why does AI do this sometimes? Please have at least one son or a child at least. 
please. Okay, there we are. We are actually illustrious now. We've jumped up quite a lot. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe it was winning the war against England. But we can do full duchy wars. So we've got to pick our target well and not just go headfirst into anybody because there is some pretty powerful people in this region. I say we started a bit slower and we take the main duchy off this guy. We're going to raise our men at arms and we'll take our holy order. And that now should be plenty to defeat them. We have 8,000. I still think we win. No, we get destroyed. Raise all. No, okay, that went very bad. But I'm not too worried just yet. What we'll do is we'll just retreat back into Bohemia, raise all our levies over here, get our men at arms back, and then just march in there with like all of our units and just wreck them. Yeah, there we go. I didn't really want to raise all of my men because it's quite expensive. But yeah, as long as we can end it fast like that, it's not too bad. Now we'll just have to disband, resupply our men from losing that battle. Sadly, yeah, Bohemia did win that war and they've actually made the full duchy once more. Gotta hate these people. Okay, <laughs> Pomerania is now what? Taken like all of Denmark as well. So they've just got quite powerful. They're allied with East Francia. So yeah, a lot of the people we're gonna have to fight are so powerful. If we can avoid East Francia, it's probably for the best. I'm not sure uh, how I feel about fighting them, to be honest. Okay, it seems Poland is actually right now attacking Hungary for a county. So what I might actually do is conquer Duchy and just take the most land off them that I can. That seems to be this duchy here. So I'm gonna take this duchy off them, hopefully. I'm not gonna have any allies to bring. What we're gonna do, raise our men at arms and then our holy order on top of them. Merge both of these together. Then over here, raise all my levies. Get them all to raise. There we go. Now for the first battle, we're gonna select them all and we're gonna march in together and just try and defeat as many of their armies as we can. Just flood in as fast as you can. Come on, let's catch them out, please. Yes, nice. So hopefully if they keep joining in as well, we should be able to kill quite a lot of them here. Now there's a lot more up north. So what we're gonna do, win that battle, we killed eight thousand of them. We're now going to march up together and try and take on the other armies. There we go. In that battle, we killed another 3,000, bringing them down to just 9,000 men. So we're going to have one army siege in. The rest of these guys are going to march around and just keep defeating them. This army has all my siege equipment. We don't have many right now. There we go. I'm 94% already. Maybe one more siege will end it. There we go. We somehow managed to not take much attrition. Only one unit started taking attrition through all of that. And we literally kept them all together. So we got pretty lucky with that one. And just like that, we have taken a big chunk out of Poland. And they may actually, well, to be honest, if they win that war against Hungary, that means we don't actually need to go to war against Hungary because they're actually going for a county that we need. So then winning would actually be best for us. Although I don't think they're going to win anymore. Not after that, when we just kept wiping out all of their men. My heir is looking fantastic, I must say. He's a genius fortune builder. Look at his stats. He's only 17. They're looking amazing. You know what? I might look for a giant. If we can get like a genius giant. That could be interesting to try and get. There we go. This gets us a decent-ish alliance as well with these guys up in Estonia. And yeah, she's 11 so far and she's a giant. So I think marrying them together is a pretty good idea. And we're going to do the same thing over here that we did do in Bohemia earlier. Hopefully it goes better this time though. So this guy, we're giving them three counties. And when we got 250 gold, we'll use it the duchy title for now we'll ask if they all convert hopefully some of them do at least because then once we give him the duchy title it'll make it way more secure for him i'll give weak hooks because they're going to be someone else's vassal very soon i'm not paying 300 gold though there we go so now we have the money we'll have to simply now create the title i thought we'd have to use it a bit but no we don't and then grant this guy this new duchy and then he'll have all these new vassals under him just making my life a little bit easier. And once we do take all of Poland, we could create the Polish kingdom title and then give it to him, one to an emperor. Oh, this guy, look, he did actually have a child as well, which is nice. His line will continue on. Damn, East Francia are making this a nightmare for me. We look at the region now. The only fights we have left is with Pomerania, Sweden, Poland, and Great Moravia. But Great Moravia is allied to Poland, which is fine, but also Italy. Sweden is just powerful. Pomerania is allied to East Francia and we've also got to fight East Francia and they are so powerful so we gotta try and avoid them still for a little bit longer don't really feel like fighting them just yet but if we look at our level of fame we're now exalted among men, which does mean we can invade kingdom. So once we let this truce end, it's got about two and a half years left. We can actually do an invade kingdom against Poland and just take the whole middle section in one, hopefully, quick war. Okay, so looking at it, I think Sweden is a good next 
target. They have 12,000 men, of course. Maybe add 8-ish thousand onto that because of the Holy Order. So maybe they'll come with about 20,000 men, possibly. But I want to conquer a duchy. And I'm going to go for this one right here. We've taken the two counties for here. So we should have a nice path to get you. I think this is a bridge we can cross. So raise our men at arms. And we're also going to take our Holy Order as well. They're up to 4,000 men, our Holy Order. Our Holy Order is pretty good, to be fair to them. And then we're going to raise the rest. And we're going to jump in there and start sieging as soon as possible. Oh, their armies will be here. Can we defeat them all? Let's see. Because our levies are still raising. So, yeah, we have the advantage. Another 3,000 coming in. And we still got them. Nice. Another 800. Go on, everyone join in. I want to fight you all. Yeah, we caught them as well. So that first battle, we killed 8,000. So, yeah, they're now down to 6,000 men. So I'm going to get on now with some nice sieges. And hopefully, this may actually be a nice and simple war. Oh, God, they caught out some of my levies over here. So we're going to march in. Get revenge. There we go. They were unseaging that county, but they... And thankfully, we captured him in battle. So just like that, we've picked up another duchy. Now, we have a vassal over here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to give him them three counties, usurp the duchy title, and then give this to him as well. This tactic is working pretty well for me so far. It's just keeping a lot of my biggest vassals happy with me, which is really important. And our truce with Poland is actually over. Yeah, I'm not actually going to waste any time. I'm just going to go for it. Invade kingdom, the kingdom of Poland. Let's not waste or mess around. So yeah, look how much land we're going to pick up from this now. That's like a big chunk of Western Slavia. And there we go. They've all just rushed into a battle and we have just completely overwhelmed them with just my levies while all my good units are sieging. Bavaria wants to actually purchase a truce now. I believe, let me double check, uh, we don't need any of their land for this decision. No, it's just on their border. So I'm going to take that truce. That's 300 gold. And right now we're burning through 30 gold a month because of this war. So that is going to be very helpful for us. I may as well call my allies as well, to be honest might as well. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over there and fight the units again. And then we can resupply in our territory over here. Because we are starting to starve. There we go. We'll just hold on like this a minute just so we can resupply. We don't want to lose too many men. They are down to actually, what, is that only 2,000? Okay. So what we'll do then is we're going to disband some of our levies, save on the money. There we go. So we're still making money now with all these units up. And once they're all supplied again, we're going to keep fighting them. Just keep their numbers low because they are up to, what, 3,700 now. So they've resupplied a little bit. Just don't give them the opportunity to fight back properly <laughs> and then we can win as long as you all hurry up there we go and we may as well to be honest let's get on their capital if we can get a nice quick siege on their capital this will probably end the entire war yep just like that look siege in the capital and it is over and that means the Bosnian invasion on the Kingdom of Poland was successful. Let's go. Let's have a look now. Oh, what have they done to our name? Eh, what? I've never seen a name do that before. That's how cursed our borders are. Like, just take a minute to actually appreciate how that looks. Frisia? Wait, what? We now have Frisia, England, East Francia, Isle of Man, and everything else, it seems. Wait, Lotharingia has Wales? God, all of them are basically some sort of descendant from the Carlin. <laughs> well, let's look. We now have a lot of land to give away inside of Poland. That for sure. So we're going to have to usurp some duchies and then grant these to people we want to have some titles. So like you. And we'll give him all these counties and that duchy title. Then what we can do is grant vassal and just give him a lot of these new vassals. So then we just don't have too many to deal with. You no, know we're going to give him all this land over here. Just try and make him really powerful so he can hopefully control these vassals himself then. So now we have Sweden, half of Pomerania, some of Great Moravia, and then East Francia. To go. There we go. We just spent all our money maxing out our military to the biggest they can be. So we've got a pretty decent size now of men at arms that we can use. East Francia is what I'm dreading. They're so powerful. Hopefully this guy does die before us. He's a bit older, so he should, but you know, you never know. Oh, actually, Italy is actually pretty weak. They're facing a war against Hungary right now. Once again, I think, yeah, there's some war with Hungary that they're defending. So we could actually declare war with these guys and just take this chunk of land off them. It's a pretty good chunk of land to pick up. I'm going to see a saying they have 4,000 men, 13,000 now. I think my mercenaries and holy orders together, these will be big enough to win, I think. Slightly out. Oh, there's 20,000 of them now. Okay, let's get the levies up. Get the levies up just in case. We sieged their capital. We've got a valuable hostage. Now we need to go and fight. Let's see. Come on, let's get them. No, don't let them get away. Yes, nice. The enemy banner. Yeah, we'll destroy it. Okay, and there we go. Just like that. That was a pretty simple war. We have just enough men to win stuff like that. So, enforce that. The balls... Oh, I think we might have to get rid of Hungary to fix our name. That might be what we have to do at some point. I can't look at that for too much longer. But yeah, from the south now, we just need one county off Hungary. Which sucks, because I don't really want to go to war with them. 
I kind of like them, but I mean, we need this county. We may as well go for a duchy, I guess. No, it is its own duchy. Okay, so we're going to do a conquest county on them. And we're going to go for this county up here. I didn't want to go to war, but I guess I just kind of got to. Yeah, we're going to start the war with all of our men just hunting them down. We're up 50% already. Then we'll just siege the war target. And then we'll kind of just chill out them probably, maybe. Just don't let them siege, though. We'll just keep... Yeah, we'll keep defeating them. Just chase them everywhere. <laughs> don't even give them a chance to chill. Just go completely on the hunt. I didn't realize how bad my stress was either. So let's hope I don't die from that. The sooner we end the war, the better, because our army's quite expensive. And there we go. We have now taken that county off of Hungary. So if we look, we should now be okay to leave Hungary alone. Yeah. So it's just three more people we need to fight, and then these two, like, small counties, which are not a problem. But we now have the decision to concentrate bloodline. So by showing sufficient devotion and gathering the favor of the clergy, I can ensure that my dynasty is forever enshrined as a holy blood line under divine protection. So our favor increases. We get the trait, the savior. We gain 96 stress because we're humble. A thousand renown though. That's pretty good. Right, we're going to do it. So that should mean, I think people born, yeah, will get divine blood. So that does increase same faith opinion. But other than that, it's not too helpful. Okay, so my next target today is going to be Sweden. I think we leave East Francia until last because they are just the most powerful, right? So yeah, I say let's just go for Sweden. Now, sadly, it's going to be a two wars left with them rather than just the one. But I say, let's just go for it. And before that, I want to actually check the faith map. Okay, Rama is coming along quite nicely, as you can see. You can see where Hungary is. They're the old faith we were, which is right in the middle. But it's starting to spread around our land, which is really nice. Now, culture is much smaller, which makes sense. Cultures don't really spread as much, which is fine. I don't mind loads of different cultures, but different faiths, not so much. I want everybody to be of my faith, at least. Yeah, we can take our holy order to this one as well, so we're going to make sure we do that. There's 6,000 of them now. Our holy order's growing really well. So we have 10,000 men just between our holy order and our men at arms. Okay, there's 14,000 of the Swedish men over there. We're actually going to meet up with our levies. So there's 27,000 of us, and we are just going to take the fight straight to them. Hopefully we catch them before they run away. Yep, there we go. We should kill a lot of them. Let's see. We killed 8,000. Yeah, they are down to now 7,000 men. So what we can do is I'm actually going to disband half of them. We don't need them all. And then the rest of them, we're just going to begin some nice sieges now. Try and take the war target. We may as well go and fight them as well if they are going to start sieging. Because yeah, our army, here we go. Did we capture him? Yes, we did. Yeah, they. <laughs> that, was, that was brutal to be honest with you. They, they didn't have much chance in that, sadly. Now, let's see. What are we up to now? Things are going really well, which I'm really, really happy about. I'm going to be honest. This may be one of the biggest, like, kingdoms I've ever made. I'm not the type of player to go and make massive kingdoms. It's not really what I do a lot of the time. But I'm happy so far with this playthrough. We've got a nice culture on the go, our own faith, and a lot of land. Yeah, there we go. We have 186 counties inside our realm. So, yeah, we've got a pretty big realm right now. Right, we are 61. Hopefully, we don't die anytime soon, but I'm going to try and save up about a thousand gold. And I think I'm ready to just take the war to East Francia now. Because we're going to need to do a few little wars against them. If we check right here. So yeah, it's going to take a few little wars, which is not great. Maybe better to actually, if we buy a claim on her land, because we can't declare war for that duchy. And then our claims, yeah, we're actually picking up more land. And that's directly on the border of what we need. So yeah, buying claim like that is really nice. Sadly, we're not in the late medieval era where we could go and pick up rightful ownership as this allows allows you to push multiple claims in a single war. Ooh, okay. So East Francia has just started a war for the claim on the kingdom of West Francia. Now, I really don't want them to win that because then they're going to get ridiculously powerful. But maybe if we start our claim war now, we may be able to like defeat their armies enough to the point where they don't win that war as well. Or they'll just be distracted with that war and they don't really bother us. I don't know what's going to happen. But yeah, well, we'll see. Let's just get in there now then. Uh, we have some allies we can call, so we're going to call them all. And let's see, 26,000 versus 25. 5,000. We hopefully should be able to win this. But I'm going to get my men at arms straight away in this siege. And yeah, his allies have actually joined from over here. So maybe with our levies, we chase these down, defeat them. Okay, actually, their armies now are starting to push in. If we can catch them by here with all of our units, this will be really, really big for us. Let's see. Come on, hopefully that 9,000 is able to get in as well. That's just more of them we can kill. But yeah, what I'm hoping for is that we also defeat them and weaken them enough so that West Francia can defend. In that 
that battle, we just killed, oh, a lot of them. 15,000 of them we killed. Only 7,200 survived. That is brutal. How many men are they down to? Just 20,000 now. Still pretty powerful. I say just. That's a lot of men. Now, Mercia is fighting them as well. We're going to just, yeah, keep sieging with our men at arms as much as we can now for the war target. But we will not let them go and siege. We will just keep chasing them down and kill another 10,000 of them. Wait, so our primary air just died. He was slain in a duel. Oh, no. So our tiles now all going to his son, who is only eight. And we're 63, so I don't fancy my chances of living that long. I'm actually gonna restore this guy's inheritance. We're gonna have to disinherit this child as well now. We're missing one prestige. Nice. There we go. Disinherit him, and it's all going to this son now. That's probably our best thing we could do there. You do not want to end up playing as a child with a kingdom this size. Right, we have the war target, and they are down to just 10,000 men. We're gonna disband some of our units now. Send them home. Save our money. And then just keep fighting them when they come back. There we have it. Just like that, we have defeated East Francia in a war, which is really, really good. That was going to be the big problem. Now, what I'm hoping is they're up 79%. That's fantastic. But they may start now resupplying their armies. Uh, it seems like West Francia is going to lose. I'm trying to make an alliance with them. But yeah, all our children are married. So we're not going to get an alliance with them anyway. Unless we can break the marriage of maybe our daughter. That's a nice alliance with Wessex. But, no, we can't even break it. I could really do with West Francia holding out for this. But they're just not going to. Now that East Francia's, their strength is rebuilding. They're starting to make a comeback now. Oh, uh, come on. A white piece would be nice, as the war has gone on for a few years already. So that's possible. Okay, so Pomerania, for some reason, I'm not sure what has happened. Maybe through death, I imagine. They're just so much weaker than they were. So we're just going to take the biggest duchy that we can off of these guys. Right now, yeah, we're just balancing truces and everything like that. These guys got a decent amount of men or they did. We've killed a lot of them. They had a holy... We've just destroyed the Catholic holy order time and time again, which is nice. Oh, look at that. It looks like ended with a white piece. So yeah, actually, us starting that war then actually allowed West Francia to hold off long enough to get a white piece, which is good for us. Stops East Francia getting too powerful because look how powerful they are. They're Brittany, the Isle of Man, some of Ireland and Scotland. They're way too big right now. And them getting West Francia as well would just be terrible for us. Yeah, these guys, we're just defeating their armies over and over again. <laughs> I'm surprised my guy is still alive though. We don't have Holo Baldi or anything and we're almost 70. So my guy's living pretty well well. And after this siege, that's another nice little war. Oh, I didn't notice. It seems men at arms has passed. So now we can have way bigger army. So we're going to max out our horse archers first. Just get them up to 12 out of 12. So we have so many horse archers ready to just swoop in on anybody we fight. Now, Sweden has managed to get a nice alliance with Aquitaine, which is terrible for us. Murders are not looking very likely. Oh, actually, we have a 95% chance to kill the queen, which would bring the alliance because that's who the alliance is through the king of aquitaine and the queen so we can actually murder her we'll break that alliance i don't know why the chance is so high from agents 263 percent. everybody hates her right okay i mean that works for me we got 95 percent chance there we go so if we look at sweden now yep they're much much weaker so conquer duchy let's get in there it's the last thing we need off sweden so Hopefully, we're done having to deal with these after this. <laughs> yeah, we're going to jump on the war target as soon as possible. All our levies are raising down here. It's so expensive to hold our army up now, though. Look at that. 60 gold a month, which is just so much money. But we're at that point in the game now where armies are just massive. There we go. We've siege one part of the war target. We're going to go and make sure we have our men at arms because our men at arms are what are causing them to, like, have so many deaths on their side after each battle. 12,000 losses. I wonder, is it because of our horse archers? It's pursuit, isn't it, that makes a lot of them die? And they have a pretty high pursuit as well to these guys, our other light cavalry. So, yeah, we got a lot of pursuit. And I believe that's what causes a lot of deaths. Doesn't let them retreat, I believe. If you do know for sure, please let me know in the comments. I'm not 100%. Wait, is this crusade for against me? Wait, where is it for? Oh, no way. The Catholics are called a crusade on the land we need to take the decision when we're so close to actually doing it. I believe, yeah, that is just... <laughs> Why? Game hates me. The Catholics are coming for revenge after we've killed so many of the Holy Orders. We may honestly just have to surrender this. Like, we're not we're not defeating them. Like, let's just put it that way. And we just got know thyself close to the end. Okay, things 
are about to get really, really rough for us. Yeah, this is about to be really bad. We have taken wall score against Sweden because we do have the whole wall target. So this should end pretty soon. But your false religion has kept your subjects in the darkness for too long. In the name of God, I shall bring the true faith to them and free them from your blasphemy. Crusade. Yeah, we... <laughs> We, they have 150,000 men. Like, realistically, we're not winning. I may honestly just surrender it. I'm just going to wait a minute. Wait for a war with Sweden to end. We're going to have to raise all of our levies as well. As soon as the war with Sweden's over, which, there we go. But we're going to be dead within a year, though. Yeah, maybe we do just surrender. Go into fight. We're not winning. Or are we? Hmm. Maybe we are. Let's go down there and fight. Let's just see what happens. I'll take all our men down here right into the thick of things and just start fighting. We may lose. We may win. Let's see. And there we go. We did die. Let's see. If we can just keep winning battles, maybe we have a chance. Let's just keep fighting them as much as we can. Winning a crusade would actually be massive. I'm getting hopeful. Is there a chance? I still don't really think so. We killed 13,000 and then 31,000. Wait, what? How does that work? We left with more men. <laughs> I don't think I've ever noticed that before. But let's just keep fighting them. It's going really well for us right now. We're up 60%. 85? Really? Are we actually going to win? What? How? We lost one battle in that whole thing. We took them down to 97,000. Like, every time, we practically killed their whole army. Like, almost every single battle, every single one of them was dying. So, look at that. They're left with 159. Okay, so we can enforce demands just like that. Victory. Broken cross. The pitiful soldiers of St. George were no match to our warriors. Under the wise and pious leadership of me, the Rama faithful repelled the invaders and reaffirmed once more their claim over Great Moravia. Perhaps next time, the Catholic King Bishop will not be so eager to throw away lives of his followers in a futile attempt to test the power of God. The infidels tasted the wrath of God. How did we win that? I'm going to be honest, I thought that was a for sure loss. We just showed up the whole Catholic faith. And yeah, we're known to dedication to our faith now because we won that. But already almost exalted among men as well. I think we got a lot of prestige and piety from that, which is nice. We are in a lot of debt though, which is not so nice, but we do have a lot of prisoners. So hopefully gets us out of debt. Just about, yeah. Okay, that went way better than I was expecting it to. But you know what? I'm happy that happened then. And when it first came up, I was dreading that. And we can't do our own crusade back. I'm not going to do it. Uh, we could literally maybe even crusade for the kingdom of East Francia, but we don't need it. And let's be honest, attacking in a crusade is a lot more tough than defending. It's just so easy to solve factions now. Watch this. Ready? Please don't show me up now. I just sent him a gift. There we go. And just like that, two week. And we're making 30 gold a month, which is decent. We could be making a lot more if we really, really focused on the economy, but 30 gold a month is keeping us afloat just fine, to be honest. Every single time we fight someone, they bring the Holy Order without a doubt. I'm just picking up some of the like loose counties, but every single time they always get the holy order. It's just never so simple to just pick up a county anymore. Still simple, but not as simple, right? Because yeah, right now we just picked up some more land off these guys and we have to do maybe one more war with those. And then after we pick up this county here, it's practically just East Francia standing in our way. And we've already proven we can definitely beat them, I hope. Okay, once again, East Francia is involved in a war for West Francia. Now it's not their own war, I guess. So it's not that important. Right, say, you know, we take this opportunity and we just go for them once more. And then it should be one more war after this and we should then be good enough to take the decision. Okay, so all their armies are now on the border. I say we just march in there and try and take out as many of them as we can. And just like that, we killed just over half of them. So you've seen how easy now it's going to be for me to finish this decision. So I got a better idea. Okay, so we return, we have two counties left, and we are in a duel against the King of Pomerania, who has 21 prowess, and we have five. And it's the first blood. Let's hope we can somehow win this. The odds are not really in our favor. We won. <laughs> Evidently, my all-out attack was just enough. So yes, I am victorious. I feel like we're just getting way too lucky. Things are just going to my way every single time. But yeah, we only have two counties left. And as you can see, we have upgraded our army quite a lot. And for some reason, the Byzantines wanted to buy a truce with us. No idea why, but I'm happy with that. We don't really want to 
do too much war with them. They are pretty powerful. Look at East Frank here now. They're down to 2,700 men. They're defending many, many wars. So yeah, East Frank here, not in a good way. We do still have a little truce with them for now. We're going to jump in here and take that as soon as we can. Estonia want to purchase a truce. It's going to last 10 years. Hmm, we do need land off them, but not yet. That's 300 gold. I might as well take that. We can wait 10 years to go and fight them again. We are going to have to take their land, of course, for the big decision tomorrow with uniting all of Slavia. That's going to be a lot more up here. And of course, we have to finish off Hungary at some point. Maybe we'll try and vassalize him. I kind of like Hungary. So I think vassalizing them would be a good shout if we can anyway oh we no longer have a truce with east frankia so we might as well just start the war they only have four thousand men we're just gonna take our men at arms our men at arms are pretty good at this point we are six thousand of them and we're just gonna go and siege their land i don't see them really stopping us we may as well go for their capital we're gonna take some attrition just because why not we may get a nice capture as well we caught her in the battle so there we go that is east frankia finally dealt with and as you can see we could take the decision to found our own empire as we now have a realm size of 219. But one more county here when our truce ends in just a few months. And soon as that's over, I'm sorry. There's 10,000 of them there, but no match for all our horses. Not at all. Right, hopefully, once I do this, what I need to do is make a different kingdom title my main kingdom. So say if we create the kingdom of Pomerania, make it our primary. Now, there we go. Because if you see, our primary title needs to either be Poland, Pomerania, Sorbia, Bohemia, or Great Moria. So just like that, we'll also get absolute crown authority, which is nice. So we were one people when we first came to these lands. Over the years, we scattered, divided ourselves into many tribes. With foreign forces lurking at our doorstep, it is time we stand together and fight once more. Unite the West Slavs. The West Slavs united. The old tribes stand united once more. I have brought us together, just like Samo did centuries ago. His empire died with him, but I am certain West Slavia has a prosperous future ahead. This is just the beginning. Glory to West Slavia. So we get the nickname, The Wend. We get in some prestige, absolute crown authority, and most importantly, a nice big empire. What I'm going to do for the empire, though, is I am going to make it Greater Bosnia. So we have the Greater Bosnian Empire, which is looking pretty good. Now, for today, I'm going to leave that here. And the last part will be out tomorrow on Tuesday, where we finish up the main goal of uniting all of the Slavs. It's going to be tough, but we should be able to do it. And one of the main things I'm going to do tomorrow as well is sort out our borders. We, we can make some kingdom tiles now and give it to vassals. It's just less for us to deal with. But yeah, honestly, I want to say at the end of this, so far, the support on the series has been amazing. I didn't think like a part two would do so well, and it has. So thank you all so much for that. And of course, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'm going to end the video with a massive thank you to all the channel members. We have Intermio1, Toxic Flame, Caesar, and Mr. Diesel. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.